Jessica? We were just chatting back and forth about, um, it seems, and, and uh, he made the, uh, Chow made the uh, comment about, it's never the person uh, who's an open carrier who commits these crimes, it's just whoever knows why, and, and you were making that point as well. Well, I think that, you know, anyone, anytime could be capable of committing a criminal act. Um, the bottom line is there are some that choose to carry for a reason, and that's to remain safe. You know, again, I, I point out the fact that law enforcement will always try to protect you, but the bottom line is they can't be everywhere at every time. Uh, this tragedy in Arizona, for example, uh, you know, law enforcement wasn't there, yet the actions of an individual stopped this crime. I was done on that one, sorry. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> and, and she was making the point as well that, you know, usually law enforcement can't be there all the time, but the general person is there. Well, in, in, in California, uh, you know, to give you an example of open carry versus Arizona's laws, uh, California allows open carry, but may issue, shall, may issue concealed carry versus shall issue in the state of Arizona. In Arizona, any citizen can exercise their Second Amendment rights by carrying a firearm, either loaded or unloaded, concealed or not concealed. Um, in the state of California, we're, we're very restricted. You know, we have a thousand yard school limit. Uh, we cannot carry within those areas. And, and generally, if you look at all the crime in the area that I live in, Walnut Creek, the thousand foot area is when most of the, where most of the crimes are occurring. Uh, several armed robberies lately, uh, people using firearms in a criminal manner. Uh, we don't condone that. We condone the safe use and handling of firearms. And I think the difference here is that uh, anyone can use any weapon, be it a knife, a vehicle, a firearm, to commit a criminal act. Uh, it takes someone who understands the law and has proper training to be able to stop it with the firearm, and even more to use better judgment, as the gentleman in Arizona did, who actually had his hand on his firearm prepared to shoot and saw an opening not to do so. Again, my firearms training, and I'm sure many of the individuals around me, has taught me that you cannot use that weapon in a situation where you do not know what's beyond your target. Uh, so this action in Arizona, uh, the individual used and exercised good judgment, uh, and thankfully was able to stop this from becoming worse. So Jeff, why do you open carry? I open carry for a couple of reasons. Uh, first is self-defense. Um, again, I have personally been in a situation where I've had a knife pulled on me and the, just the presentation of my firearm stopped the crime. Uh, who knows where I would have been in that situation. Uh, the other reason I do it is to exercise my Second Amendment rights and basically train people, get people to understand what their Second Amendment rights are and how they're being restricted in California. Uh, I, I don't really want to get too much into that at this point in time out of, the, out of respect for the families in Arizona um, and until all the facts are known about this individual. Um, you know, my, my condolences go to the families, my condolences go to those who are touched by this. Uh, but I carry because I don't want to be a victim. What about police who say, you know, it's not a good idea, you know, it's kind of intimidating, people don't know if you're carrying legally or not carrying, and people don't even know about the open carry law that anybody could, you know, actually have an unloaded weapon at their side. Well, I think, um, you know, there's a lot of open carry groups, responsible citizens of California, which I'm a member of, uh, as well as you know, several others within the Bay Area, have done a very good job of education, both public and with law enforcement officers. Uh, I think open carry is a lot more well known and, and widely regarded as, as in previous years. Um, I have only been checked once myself. Uh, most individuals who see a firearm that may have a problem with it, that may think something of it, that, that call 911, are generally now going to be met with questions, well, tell me about the actions of that individual. Well, he's standing in line purchasing coffee. He's not waving it or threatening anyone with it. And in most instances, law enforcement will not even respond at that point. Uh, again, I think you look at the action of the individual with a firearm, it's not the firearm itself. Thank you. Absolutely. You guys